Hello, everyone. Welcome to part two of our Ingram Micro profile on AMD's Radeon Pro platform of professional graphics cards. Uh, episode one, we gave a quick overview of AMD's kind of overall graphics story, how long they've been in, in the marketplace, the types of offerings they have, and why for certain applications, a professional card is just superior in every way to using a consumer grade card. Uh, for part two, we're going to dig a little bit deeper into the line card, give you an idea of the line up the different specific options that AMD has available uh, and really go into what types of use cases those cards are best for. So while I personally know the lineup fairly well, I won't even pretend to know it as well as the people who are actually helping design and working with these things every day. So we've got a special guest on this particular episode uh, who is Christopher Franco. He's a FAE for AMD. So I'm going to go, go ahead and hand it over to him and he can go through the lineup with you. Hi everyone. I am Chris Franco from AMD. We're going to be going over our Radeon Pro uh, uh, workstation cards, specifically the W6800 and W6600 are two top of line cards. As it sounds like you guys talked about last time, AMD is a trusted partner across the board. We have a whole list of uh, applications we are certified for and uh, we're trusted by many, many companies around the globe. I suggest if you are looking for a card for a specific use case and you know that you need a certification for it, check out amd.com slash certified. And that is where you're going to find the list of all the current certifications. And you can actually drill down and figure out exactly what card works for the application you guys are using. So when we talk about different verticals, some things are kind of all around the same though, right? All of our projects are increasing in complexity and scale. There's going to be constantly more and more um, complex problems that we're attempting to solve. And to fix that, we're making more and more powerful graphics cards. Uh, one of the things you're going to see is uh, how much better our graphics card is today than it was previously. Smart use of hardware resources. So all of our components are working together better. And that's one of the things you get with AMD is that we do sell CPUs, GPUs, and, and can make a more unified platform. And that's something we are constantly aiming for. And there's always going to be more projects with less time and less resources. And that's something AMD is here to help help with. One of the things you're going to see is you're going to get more power for less dollars. And that's something we always strive for. So let's actually talk about the cards themselves. This is where it starts getting interesting. So this is the Radeon Pro W6000 graphics series. These are our top two cards, the 6600 and the 6800. The 6600 has eight gigabytes of GDDR6 with a total peak teraflops of 10.4 and four display outputs, which we'll look at here in a second, with up to 1,792 stream processors. The Radeon Pro W6800 is significantly uh, larger and more powerful, has 32 gigabytes of GDDR6, 17.83 teraflops of performance, uh, FP32 performance we're measuring here, six main display port outputs, and up to 3,840 stream processors. As we look at this versus uh, one of the previous gen cards, this is against our Radeon 7 card. One of the things you're going to notice going from top of line to top of line, we have doubled the amount of RAM from 16 to 32 gig. We have 36% more flowing performance than our previous gen. And even though the price went up, the performance per dollar went down. And that's something we're aiming for. AMD versus the competition. So this is the slide where we look at our cards versus the competitors it was built to go up against. I consider the main competitor here the NVIDIA Quadro 5000. It sits right between the, 5000, the RTX 5000 and the RTX A6000. With 32 gig of RAM, it's between the 48 of the 6000 and the 16 of the uh, 5000. And then our teraflops of performance kind of sits right in the middle as well. However, we're going to give you more display ports and we're going to do all of it at a lower power consumption than our competition. So looking at the architecture itself, the chip itself is actually with built with uh, hardware ray tracing accelerators. We have our AMD infinity cache and that's the ability to unlock the bandwidth between the CPU and GPU. Just to look at some of the features on our new chips, we have uh, hardware ray tracing accelerators. We have hardware AV1 uh, encode. Uh, decode, sorry, AMD Infinity Cache, and we have PCI Gen 4 support. We'll talk a little bit about the features of this chip. The dedicated security hardware in the GPU is actually a hardware root of trust. They'll allow you to know if somebody has modified your vBIOS or attempted, uh, attempted to change that card in any way. The W6800 
comes in significantly quieter than our competitor at 45.9 uh, decibels. And honestly, for myself, this is actually one of my um, one of my benefits for these cards is that they are very, very quiet cards. If you think about what we do with a computer today, one of the most common things you're doing is, say, recording videos or um, being on a, 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 a Teams call or something like that. And this allows you to not hear that card running in the background. To talk about performance, the W6000 graphics series is about 79% more performant than our previous generation. That includes workloads like Lumion, uh, Desalt System, SolidWorks, um, and other rendering architectures, what we used to get this benchmark. Radeon Pro Viewport Boost is a feature you turn on inside the graphics driver that uh, increases the performance at applications that it has been um, enabled in. We're going to look at Autodesk, and uh, Autodesk is one of the the big features here as well as epic twin motion you can see the performance delta we get when we turn on our radion viewport uh, boost that's up to 214 percent more performance on revit 143 percent more performance on uh, 3ds max and epic twin motion 139 percent more more performance this is a significant increase all right let's talk about ray tracing rendering performance we're going to look at uh the salt system solidworks to look at the performance on our ray tracing, uh, ray tracing performance. So we're going to use the W5700 as our baseline. And if you look across that, we're 146% uh, more performant than that previous gen card, still being that RTX 5000, leaving us 2.1% faster than even our previous generation, our GCN cards, the 9100. So in generation over generation, we've more than doubled. Um, and then even from the 5700, which is, you know, a Navi card as well, um, but the previous Navi card, we're still 146% uh, faster than that at ray tracing. So these are huge leaps and bound in our ray tracing performance. In this example, we're doing 60 second renders of this car to see how the uh, visualizations turn out. On the left and the right, you're looking at the uh, Quadro RTX 5000, and then right down the middle, you're looking at that 6800. Quite frankly, they it looks excellent to me, and, and you know that's all. It's always in the eye of the beholder here on these ones, right? But I think it is uh, better to identical. This is our uh, denoising. As we zoom in on a 10-second render on this uh, rapid ray tracing example, you see the pixelization on that Quadro RTX card, whereas our AI accelerated denoising has pretty much made that go away. And you see much smoother lines, a much clearer image in only 10 seconds. As we know with any type of uh, rendering, time is money, right? So the, the quicker we can get these done uh, and the better looking they are, the less you're paying your employees, right? I mean, well, you know, they're not sitting there waiting for it to render. Let's take a look at our AMD Infinity Cache performance. With AMD Infinity Cache disabled, you're noticing we're getting about the same performance as that RTX 5000 series. However, when we enable our Infinity Cache and unleash the power of that card, you're seeing we beat that uh, we beat that RTX 5000 by another 10% on top of where we were before, and beating our own score as well. So this gives you an idea of how much performance you can get just by enabling that one feature in our BIOS. Um, as long as the workload needs it, it's 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 a um, it's almost a guaranteed win for just flipping mm -hmm. one switch. All right. Let's take a look at what some of our customers are saying about these cards. Uh, so this is coming from SolidWorks. SolidWorks and AMD worked together on a technical demo to add Vulkan RT to SolidWorks project Romulan. Has succeeded in its goals to show what's possible and we continue to work together to add this engine to future releases of SolidWorks. These are some of our partners we work with regularly. SolidWorks called the Radeon Pro W6800 the perfect card to exploit the performance of real-time ray tracing. That's a pretty great recommendation from SolidWorks themselves. So what are we getting with these new Ray Pro 6000 cards? You have an option to get either an 8 gig or a 32 gig card. You have RDNA 2 architecture and gains from that decreased, um, decreased nanometer technology that we're using, decreased lithography technique. You're able to get R2 DNA architecture gains from our decreased lithography technique and all of our new improvements in the core themselves, as well as an affordable, sacrifice nothing card 
that will give your customers exactly what they need. And uh, back to you. Okay, thanks, Chris, for all that great information on the Radeon Pro Series. Certainly a compelling option that is available to all of our partners who are looking to help out their customers with their graphics needs. Helping them to get SolidWorks running as, as powerfully as possible at the lowest possible cost. Um, so hopefully everyone found that information very helpful. I appreciate your time today. Uh, just a reminder that this is a four-part series, so this is episode number two. I hope you'll take the time to join us for our third installment. Uh, during that one, I'm going to be going over the Radeon Pro Selector Tool, which Chris mentioned, mentioned very briefly at the beginning of his presentation, uh, where you can kind of really drill down based on the application that your customer is going to be using to get a recommendation for the best available AD AMD Radeon Pro card for that. That job. Uh, so again, thank you very much for your time. If you haven't already, please take a moment to leave a like, subscribe, uh, comment if you have any questions. And if there's anything else you would like to follow up on, I'll make sure that my contact information is below in the description so that you can reach out to me as well. Uh, thank you again, everyone, for your time. Mm -hmm.